Hello, uh, I am Surya Subedi. Uh, I am professor of international law. I am the author of the study guide on international law of the sea. Today, I would like to tell you very briefly what the course is about, what it covers, and what are the main components of it. There are four sections, like any other course that you are doing. There are four sections in this course: section A, B, C, and D. Each of the sections are devoted to certain areas of the law of the sea. Section A deals with the evolution of the law of the sea, and then section B, C, and D go on to examine various areas of the law of the sea. For instance, exclusive economic zone, the continental shelf, the high seas, the deep seabed mining mechanisms, and finally, of course, for us. International lawyers very important to understand the dispute resolution mechanism. When a dispute arises out of the uh, interpretation and application of the treaty on the law of the sea, unlike other areas of international uh, law, we are fortunate in the law of the sea that we have a comprehensive convention regulating more or less every area of activity within the law of the sea. I am not saying that it is a complete. Uh, document, but it is uh, quite comprehensive, more comprehensive than any other international instrument in existence today. It covers a huge range of uh, areas uh, within the uh, ocean space, the seas, the deep sea floor, and even air space above the water column. So it has been regarded the 1982 Convention on the Law of the Sea has been regarded. Uh, the uh, charter of the oceans because it is so comprehensive and it has a very comprehensive dispute resolution mechanism as well offering different options offering flexibility to states when a dispute arises between uh, two or more than two states with regard to the interpretation and application of the law of the sea it has a menu for states to choose, choose from in other areas of international law there will be one mechanism for instance wto you have to go to the WTO dispute settlement body. body. So, it has a compulsory jurisdiction, but in the law of the sea, you have different options. Of course, that includes the international tribunal on the law of the sea. Basically, this course is designed to give you a, a good introduction and cover the depth and breadth of the law of the sea. Evolution, various treaties concluded in the past, and then the focus, of course, as I said is on the 1982 convention of the law of the sea, because so far as the states party to the 1982 convention on the law of the sea is concerned, the other treaties are no longer applicable. So, there may be some states which were party to say let us say 1958 Geneva convention on continental shelf or um, territorial sea. If they have not become a party to the 1982 convention the Geneva Conventions of 1958 will continue to apply to them, but as, long, as soon as they become party to the 1982 convention, the latest one the 1982 convention will apply to them. The 1982 convention is not only comprehensive, but it is widely accepted. Although the number of ratifications came slowly, but it entered into force and now there are a large number of states which are party to it and more importantly many of the provisions of the 1982 convention are regarded as declaratory of customary international law. It is a codification of customary international law, which you know is basically the law was already there. So, it is not nothing new, some of it, but a codification of an already existing body of law. That is what the 1982 convention on the law of the sea does. And of course, in the 1970s and 80s, there were a number of new developments new scientific discovery, the uh, natural resources to be found on the ocean floor, the manganese noodles and other natural resources, uh, advances in science and technology uh, enable people to understand the possibilities, commercial poss possibilities of exploiting the natural resources on the seabed, on the ocean floor. How do you go on exploiting them? Since they were not part of um, uh, uh, the jurisdiction of any state, high seas were common um, and open and available to all states, both landlocked and coastal states. 
So, an area which has been regarded as a common heritage, a common property belonging to the humanity as a whole, how do you go on exploiting the resources for the benefit of the entire population of the planet? Very ambitious undertaking under the 1982 convention of the law the sea, creating a deep sea bed mine. Fascinating for me, although I teach number of other courses, but I am more fascinated by the law of the sea. It is a massive undertaking. One convention has a mechanism creating a massive company in the form of a deep sea bed mining authority, mine the resources down below deep into the ocean flow, bringing to the floor and then marketing it to um, states um, over land. So, that is why the 1982 convention on the law of the sea remains a fascinating instrument and so many states have ratified it. It is now working although the deep sea bed mining provision has not started to deliver the benefits because of, of number of commercial reasons, economic reasons. The mining activity has not accelerated under the auspices of the deep sea bed mining authority itself, but individual states have gone on to exploit the resources of the deep sea bed in their own continental shelf in the areas earmarked for them the exploration of offshore oil and gas is one of the major economic activities that states are undertaking around the globe especially the countries with the advanced technology financial ability and the uh, other resources required to exploit the resources they are exploiting it so the law of the sea convention is designed to um, regulate these type of activities for the greater good of the humanity as a whole making sure that the coastal states are utilizing the res uh, resources uh, within their jurisdiction uh, in accordance with uh, the law is found in the 1982 convention of the, on the law of the sea. Therefore, the course as a whole covers the depth and breadth of the law of the sea a fascinating area in my opinion. Thank you. Mm -hmm.